Hello family and yes we're back we're back with another video coming straight at you from the house with the family affair yes 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 we're here we're going to be talking about a story that celebrity insider brought out for our viewing and our narrative pleasure we got Nick Marcus over there breaking the story down for us. His article of his title is Eva Marcel Thinks Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore Will Never Make Peace. And she's explaining to us why. We're going to get right on into it because Eva thinks she knows the secret of the demise and to never be seen again on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or of Nene and Kenya Moore. Okay, let's see what she got to say. It says, Eva Marcel believes there are not many chances Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes will ever put an end to their feud. As far as she's concerned, some people you just don't get along with. And she thinks that is the case for the Real Housewives of Atlanta enemies. While on Watch What Happens Live and Andy Cohen, Eva shared her opinion on the feud between the two ladies that have been going on for a very long time. And simply asked her what she thought it would take for Nene and Kenya to bury the hatchet. Eva told the Bravo boss and fellow guest Tyra Banks that I think I would reconcile with the fact. And Kenya has at least that they're just not friends. Some people you just don't get along with. Now family, that's a fair statement. That is a fair statement. I, I kind of concur with Eva on that. But going back to the article, it says, and that's... And that was not all she had to say on the matter. Now see, Eva finna get ready to tell us some tea. Or she finna get into her feelings. It's one or the other. You know how she gets. She say shit. And then uh, she call herself, uh, I didn't say that. You know, trying to back out of what she had displayed. That's just how Eva get down. But anyway, Eva, uh, Eva argued that her, in her opinion, Kenya and Nene can be respectful to one another on camera without actually being friends. Certain friendships you want to mend, and then sometimes it's like, you know, the season's over. So, I don't think they're going to be besties anytime soon. Fans have been keeping up with the Housewives feud for a long time, and Eva's response pretty much confirmed that it's just an explosive as ever behind the scenes as well. That being said, it sounds like they are not planning on reconciling anytime soon. Not to mention that Nene is convinced Kenya is trying to make her look like the villain. Now, my sidebar. Hell, Nene, you and Kenya are the villain. Y'all the one pretty much makes the show and keep us tuning in for y'all antics that y'all give us from episode to episode, from season to season. Because if we didn't have y'all cutting up, we'll be hollering, we're Phaedra. <laughs> Where's Phaedra? Where's Kim Tozette? Where's Sheree Whitfield, honey? Where are they? Because Candace is too boring. She won't even give us a storyline. Because if it was, it'd all be surrounded behind Todd and her um, mother, Mama Joyce, and the other uh, aunts. And we really don't want to get involved in bringing them on there. But that's why I said you have to because Candy is just that boring. She don't give us a storyline for her to partake of for us to be even have interested in following her. Okay, and that's just how it is. Cynthia, okay, that's enough said right there. Portia, hmm, no, nah, she couldn't carry the show either or give us enough storyline unless Dennis was out there doing something uh, infidelity-wise to her. And really, you can't even call it infidelity. You just can call it playing out cheating because her and Dennis are not married. You see what I'm saying? You got to be married before you can call it infidelity. Okay, it's just how I see things. And maybe I'm a little too shrewd the way I put things out there. But that's just the way it is. You can't be a baby mama and then want somebody to marry you. You should have become the wife before the baby mama. Okay? But it just is what it is. It's happened. Let's move on. Going back to the article. That's all my sidebar. Uh, insider previously dish VI Hollywood Life that Nene feels like Kenya is set on becoming the queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta and feels she is frustrated that this would never happen with her. 
uh, Nene on the show. She feels like when cameras are rolling, she always makes calculated attempts at making her the villain while pushing her buttons to try to turn fans and a network against her. Well, Nene, I can just point out blank tell you, no. No. No, no, no. The antics that you do out there in real life... And when you do the antics on your reality show that you're a part of with the rest of the women, that's enough to set you a fire and a blaze to have us talking about you for the negative just in a nutshell, okay? You do just as much damage to your image as well as uh, the image of what we feel we're going to be thinking about you you, you give us all the ammo we need to stay lot loaded and ready to spray you with your own mess. The same thing with Kenya Moore. She stay lot loaded and ready for us to spray her because she gives us so much ammunition to use against her. You both are like looking in a mirror. Y'all are identical when it comes to y'all behavior. And then y'all want to play victim at the end and want sympathy. Both of y'all are very good at that. So in my personal viewpoint, Eva really didn't say a bunch of a hill of a beans through this uh, particular article. She just wanted camera time and she's boring because the only thing we've known for Eva to partake of herself is just to have babies and eat. Okay, I wish I had her, ment uh, we call it metabolism absorption rate because, whoo, that girl be putting down some food, okay? And when them babies drop, she goes back to pure thinness, okay? Thinness, flawless, okay? I, I don't know what's going on with her metabolism, but it is fast as hell. Oh, but anyway, Eva didn't have nothing. She didn't give us nothing throughout this article. Uh, Nick Marcus, I don't know what you were giving us. It was a poor, poor trash. Poor, poor trash that you gave us for our storyline. I'm disappointed. Very, very disappointed. So come up with some better news so we can use, so we can spread your name in a better light than what you're giving us tonight. Okay? But that's all I had on that uh, particular particular article that a uh, celebrity insider journalist wrote up for us about Eva Marcel trying to clue us in on why she really feels Nene and Kenya will have this continual feud as long as they're both on the show as long as Bravo Entertainment uh, shows us different seasons and episodes of the Real Housewives of Atlanta nothing's going to change and why should it the formula is perfect we want drama they give us drama Bravo is doing their job and the ladies are definitely playing in character if they don't like act like this behind closed doors or out of the sight of the human race then so be it yes Oscar women performances but if they are the same way as they giving us what they showing us on this TV screen whoo child whoo child and they wonder why I get on them so bad or why certain people feel I'm harder on one person than the other and I'm like no I'm not I tell y'all all the time everybody can get it I ain't biased I'm not biased Nene cutting up I'm getting on her Eva cutting up I'm getting on her Kenya Portia Cynthia Tanya did I miss anybody we can't say too much about Shamia and Marlo because they're in their own, own, own skin. Shamia don't really too much say nothing. You just have to say boo, you know, and then get uh, some type of insight or some type of arousement out of her. And Marlo, she just in a class all to herself. She don't need no introduction. She just walk in and we like, okay, baby, what you going to give us today? We know we're going to get something out of you that we could keep and, and, and laugh about, okay? And be ready to see you next episode or the next season, however it gets down. But I already done gave y'all my opinions, my speculation on this particular article. I need my family to get in there, interact with one another. Put your bid down or what you felt about a situation of how subject matter was acting. What you got from it, what you took from it. And elaborate for me, okay? We love to hear the insight. But uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. I am going to sleep now. I'm going to bed. I'm going to talk myself silly. Hope you, hopefully you all enjoyed my company as much as I enjoyed you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. 
And I will see you tomorrow, God willing. Okay, be blessed. Have a nice day. And a banana still praying for you, girl. Hope you're doing better with each passing day. Love on you. I love on me. We love on each other. Yes, we're one big happy family. Okay, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll love you tomorrow. It's only a day away. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, see you later, family. See you later. Love and kisses and hugs all the way around. Good night.